Can this little compressor pedal make your acoustic tone way better? Let's find out. Compressors are something that everybody knows they kind of need, but I think there's a lot of mystery around why you actually need one. Definitely. So for acoustic guitar specifically, what do you think of? These instruments are completely different animals. You're going to need different sets of tools for them for those situations where you need to play them. There's two essential effects, reverb and compression. Okay, why do you say compression is essential then? When it comes to acoustic electric, compressor pedals, especially one that's simple and affordable, you can throw that on a pedal board, click it on, and there's going to be a lot of evenness in the strings where without it, there might not be that evenness. Okay, I want to demonstrate this for a second. This is just what it sounds like just without the pedal on. And then I can put the compressor on. Okay, so I think this is a really good pedal to showcase this because you'll see the LED is red right now. That means it's not compressing anything. As soon as you start playing and it hits it. You can see that it turns yellow. So something is happening to the signal. Yeah. Can you maybe try to do an example where you're playing just single notes dynamically, like maybe soft a little bit and then sure. harder? So as you can see, you can see sometimes it's triggering, sometimes it's yellow, sometimes it's red. And when it's hitting it harder, it kicks in. The compressor kicks in, right? And why it's doing that is because when he's hitting it harder, it hits what's called a threshold. And why this pedal is cool is because it only has two knobs. There's a level knob, which is your overall signal, and then a compression knob. So it makes it really simple for something like this. So when he's hitting that threshold, the compressor is actually turning the volume down, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you're not hearing a change in volume because what the Fishman AFX pedals do is they add your signal compressed alongside your original signal. So that's why it's built for acoustic guitar because as you know, if you use a bunch of electric guitar effects with an acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. it's like you can tell that these effects were meant for electric versus acoustic. All right, so what we're going to do here is you're going to see this LED as an indicator for when the compressor kicks in. All right, I'm going to adjust the level and the overall compression while he's playing and then you're going to kind of see how it reacts in real time, okay? So I'm gonna start it off with no compression and just level at noon and then just have at it. As the level went higher, the sound might not always be getting louder because what's happening is as the compressor knob goes past noon, you're actually just hearing the compressed signal and not the original signal. So what you saw me doing is was compensating with the overall level to turn the signal up to make it sound as loud as the original signal. Now this is gonna react a little bit differently when you're playing fingerstyle guitar. So now I'm gonna have Sean play fingerstyle and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So as you can see, you can see the compressor working a lot harder or at least being busier in a fingerstyle arrangement because mm -hmm. I think it's really important for something like that. And it was definitely very helpful. Like just a little bit of that extra lift and evening, especially from the low to the high pitches, it's like everything sounded exactly like you would want it to sound.
All right, so we're going to test if this man right here <sighs> can tell if an acoustic guitar compressor is on or off. We're going to find out right now. Is it, is it, is it on or off? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? All right, just flick the switch, whether it's on or off real quick. I want to hear what it that opposite is. I feel like that's cheating, but... Uh... All right, do the opposite. Yeah, that's the compressor on. Oh, he's got it. Uh, yeah. He's got it. Why would you use a compressor on an acoustic guitar? Comment, let us know what you think, and then check out other No Fear videos on the channel.